Dream Demon was one of those uh, British horror movies, one that Arrow recently released, where I was a little bit curious. Not curious enough to get uh, the actual disc, but I thought I'd watch it on the Arrow player. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. I had a lot of fun with it, but I could fully understand people not enjoying this one. It is all about this character of Diana, who's getting close to marrying a war hero. She's living in this apartment, a large sprawling house in the middle of London. She doesn't really have many friends or anything about, and she's just kind of bouncing around the house most of the day. But there's an issue. This house may have some kind of a supernatural element to it. And whenever Diana goes to sleep, uh, her dreams become horrifying nightmares. Really taking a lean on Nightmare on Elm Street series, this creates really weird and wacky images. Um, things that are pure nightmare fuel that seem to escalate as the movie goes on. And things that happen in the dream world can happen in real life. So if someone dies, they are a goner or, or disappeared or taken by this dream demon. And I really just love the idea of this. Now, there's there's a couple of great actors in this, British actors in the form of Timothy Spall, whom I thought was um, going to go out the movie for a while, but he sticks around for a long while in really fun, uh, reoccurring moments with really ghastly and gruesome makeup. Uh, it feels kind of lecherous and, and kind of weird and, and horrible, grimy type of character, but it was wonderful to see him returning. Jimmy Neal, as a reporter, uh, shows up a good bit as well and creates a, a kind of fun, investigative uh, manner within this movie. The kind of tropey things you would expect. I'd say the real surprise for me was Kathleen Whitlow, who turns up as an American who feels drawn to this place, who feels drawn to this house, and she creates um, a relationship with Diana early on, and you see Whitlow's character Jenny really kind of bond with this woman, but there's a fascination in her about this house. She feels like she belongs there. She's recently found out that she uh, was orphaned and adopted by her American parents, and is now looking for some kind of history uh, about what's going on and she quickly realises that Diane is having these weird dreams as she is drawn into these nightmare scenarios. It's a really kind of twisted and fun tale that wraps itself up really nicely at the end of it and it's just punctuated wonderfully by these ever increasing wacky and horrific nightmares that become more terrifying, more gruesome and just more everything the more they come along and I really appreciated that kind of uh, makeup effect, the kind of wackiness and the real effort of just going for it. It's a movie with kind of limited sets and kind of limited actors but they feel as if they do the most with it and I really like that. There's a kind of ickiness at the heart of Dream Demon, the kind of twisted imagery that really makes this one to, to go back to. Once you know the story and you want to just sit down and be creeped out by some of the strange things that are going on. To be uh, haunted by some of the horrific characters that this movie introduces. I really like this one. Uh, a tale of a woman who is kind of second guessing whether she is going to get married or not. Who's unsure about her future. Who is getting a little bit of cold feet and that comes in the form of these wicked dreams that are part horrific and part kind of commentary on her current uh, situation, her mental state. I like the idea of that as well as the mystery of why Jenny's uh, the character was drawn there and what kind of supernatural goings on is going within this household. It kind of added to a really nice tale. I really enjoyed Dream Demon. It was the kind of wackiness that they just uh, made me sit up and pay attention. The gruesome gore, the great set pieces, the wackiness of the story all came together wonderfully well and created a terrific tale. I really like this movie. I would love to know your opinion of Dream Demon. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.